Okay, this is part two of uh, Gina's light that um, I was uh, impressed with, so I built one. And it all revolves around this uh, three and a quarter inch toroid coil that uh, on the secondary there's enough of a voltage bump to light up a CFL that has nothing in it but just the bulb. And it runs it off of one AA battery, one and a half volts. And this is the circuit that I've got right now that uh, there was an error in the last video. I had a connection between here and here. And in my circuit anyway, there's no connection there at all. And uh, it's very, very simple. It's just a, a one and a half volt battery. I have an on off switch now. Uh, there's a 25 ohm rheostat. It's uh, basically a wire wound variable resistor. On uh, this uh, winding here, the 10 turn, I've got a port now that I can plug in LEDs or experiment with that extra winding like a uh, power takeoff from the main coil. So that's how I ended up. Now here I've just got a 22 uh, ohm resistor and the transistor I decided to use was a TIP3055 instead of the 2N3055. Anyway, it, it worked out real good, and I was so impressed with it, I put it in a box. And this is, uh, this is Gina's light in a box. And uh, Dewey's here to help me. This is my little friend Dewey. He's my first real jewel thief that I built uh, months and months, well, probably over a year ago. And uh, he's a jewel thief, and one of my favorite little... Uh, things around the house here. You know, he's going to help me with uh, Gina's, uh, Gina's light. And you notice I've got a, a wooden box. It's in a wooden box. I've got a 10 watt CFL that has no uh, insides to it, just the bulb. That's the uh, port for taking power off of the coil. That's the 10 turn port. And I've got a little uh, LED, very similar to uh, Dewey's LED that I'm just going to plug in there and show that. And on the side here is the, uh, the little on-off switch that I've got. And then uh, this is the 25 ohm rheostat variable resistor to adjust the power going to the whole circuit. Uh, a lot of people, uh, when they build these Joule thieves, they put a variable uh, resistor here in the base circuit, which works just as well. But I'm just doing it with this uh, 25 ohm rheostat. But you can eliminate that if you want to and put a a 1K pot here with uh, a small resistor in series with it and that works too but anyway this is Gina's light in a box and let me show you what it looks like inside okay Dewey you're gonna have to help me here there you go put some light on it for me good man <laughs> okay there there is uh, the insides and that toroid coil right down there in the middle is what uh, Gina turned me on to. It's a three and a quarter inch, fairly thin, big round toroid that rings real good with the resonance oscillation and JT circuit. Now you'll see there's a, um, let's see if I can do this here, in one hand. Right there at the pencil point, let's see if I can do this. Right there is the, um, the one and a half volt battery that runs this thing and that is all there is that drives this is just a one and a half volt battery inside there that that battery right there and then there's the TIP 3055 right back there that is the transistor there's the rheostat and that's all there is to it folks there's just not much to uh, Gina's light it's very very simple situation um, and it's very effective. Let me turn it on here and I'll show you how it works. There it goes. And that's running on one and a half volts. That's it. And th this would not be significant except for the amount of brightness I'm getting out of that bulb with one and a half volts running at about oh, probably 150-200 milliamps at full bright 
but when I turn this down, I can get this to stay on way down there at about 30 or 40 milliamps. Let me turn the lights down, I'll show you. And at 30 or 40 milliamps, this will run for over a day. I had this running for over 36 hours and finally turned it off. And when you want the light, man, the light comes right on bright. And this is very, very effective to be doing this with a volt and a half. I'll turn this all the way off. You'll see the amount of brightness when I turn this up. And it was the fact that you could do this with a one and a half volt battery and get this to run for many hours that really impressed me. And that's why I went ahead and put it in a box. Now, the other part of it is the LED part here. And see the little port right there? If I plug in the LEDs to that port, I get super bright LED light. Now, I can turn this all the way down, the rheostat all the way down here, and I still have very bright lights. Now, let me compare it to Dewey's lights. And you can see that they're almost about the same. Now that's only drawn about 20 milliamps, uh, 15 to 20 milliamps at that brightness. And that impressed me also with this was uh, because of the size of the, the toroid, I believe, and the way this is set up, you get very, very efficient resonance on this circuit. And a jewel thief is really self-resonating. Uh, it goes into its own resonance. But um, what I'll do is I'll turn this up here and then I'll unplug it. Once the, the neon is going to come back, or the fluorescent is going to come back on. And uh, I like this. I think this was a great idea and uh, excellent light for an emergency or just to have around the house. I'm going to be using this on the boat. And um, I was very, very happy with the way this came out. And do recommend uh, this circuit and getting this toroid um, ring ferrite ring and winding one of these things up. It's a very, very good light. And that's Gina's light. Very, very good one. Thumbs up all the way. <laughs>